just my bare hands. And yes, they could hurt me, they could even kill me. But I'm going to take a very gentle approach, I'm going to do an animal friendly show. That way, hopefully, I'm going to get these alligators to realize that I'm not here to stress them out or hurt them or kill them. And hopefully they're going to pay me the same respect and not hurt or kill me. So that's the goal we're going for today. Gotcha. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, just move this girl around so that everyone can see her beautiful face. Just like that. Oh, yeah, you can tell how thrilled she is to be volunteering for you all. All right. Take a look inside that mouth, guys. Now, there's 80 teeth in there. 40 on top, 40 on the bottom. The neat thing about these teeth, alligators can break them off, grow them back, cycle through 3,000 teeth in their lifetime, just like a shark. And that really comes in handy, considering these animals will bite down with 2,000 pounds of pressure per square inch inside of these jaws. And you guys don't seem impressed at all. <laughs> I gotta realize, that's powerful enough to break any bone in your body. They'd be like taking a very large vehicle, slamming it down on your hand. Just Even imagine more. that vehicle having any pointy sharp teeth. That's something I don't ever want to experience. It's uh, like also ton. three times more powerful than a bite from a great white shark. So yeah, take that shark week. <laughs> if you guys still aren't impressed, then well, the only other thing I have to say is that you're probably on the wrong side of this fence right here. <laughs> now the reason why these alligators are in here is because at one point they were considered nuisance alligators. Showed up at the wrong place at the wrong time, got into someone's backyard swimming pool, or maybe this guy ate someone's little fluffy. Something like that. And it does happen, they do sometimes eat people's dogs. They would have to call a trapper to come out, and unfortunately, the trapper is going to kill the alligator. Unless the alligator was eating chihuahuas. <laughs> because then they just let him go eat more of those little things. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's always controlled. It's a win-win situation for all involved. <laughs> just kidding, guys. But on a more serious note, it is true that the state of Florida does kill thousands of these alligators per year. And that's sad. It's not their fault. It's only the fault of a nuisance person. And by that, I mean feeding the alligators. Once they start associating you with the food, you come back without the food, you most likely are going to become the food. You see what I'm getting at? So what we do here at Gator Boys Alligator Rescue, instead of having them killed, we'll remove them from your yard free of charge. Bring them back here or to one of the other facilities that we work with in Florida. And then some of the alligators, like this guy right here, we will do educational shows with them so that we can better inform the public about these amazing but very misunderstood creatures. If you ask me, I think that's a lot better than having them killed and made into a pair of boots. <laughs> yeah. Would you agree? Yes, yes, of course, she does appreciate that. Now, we cannot re-release them back into the wild. Not only is that illegal, but the alligators have some weird people as well away. Makes them more dangerous because instead of running away from people like you would naturally do, they're going to start running towards people because they think they're going to get fed. The average person probably doesn't know how to deal with a very large, hungry alligator coming at them. So unfortunately, people get fed, and that's when the alligator gets killed. So it's just very important to remember, leave them out in the wild. Don't try to help them by feeding them. They can definitely do that on their own. Let them stay wild animals. <laughs> what are you doing? I saw you out of the corner of my eye. Gonna do a big yawn? Uh, okay, there we go. There's a big smile, you know, just in case anyone wanted to get a picture. There we go. That or he's just expressing how he feels about my show. That is a real yawn, yeah, though. Lots of respect, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, now. Alligator wrestling is not like the wrestling that you would see on TV. I'm not hurting them or headlocking them, and I'm definitely not wearing any tights or spandex. It's just not that type of wrestling. But it was a technique used by the Seminole Indians. They would go out and capture an alligator, bring it back to their camp alive. Believe it or not, this is a one-man job. So how they would pull this off is by using a technique that we call the bulldog. You take the alligator's jaws, hold them shut between your chin and your chest. And therefore, you'd have your hands free to take out your rope. And I can tell by the look on your faces that you guys are just dying show you that. So as soon as this guy passes by, I will go ahead and take my eyes off the other alligators to show you this trick. Oh, that's what he wanted to do. He just wanted to get a little bit better of his buffet in front of him. Yeah. yeah it's a good thing that that fence is there, guys. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see if we can pull this off here. Jaws closed. Holding between your chin and your chest. Therefore, you have your hands free. Let me tell you, I would have hate to have been the first person to have to try that out if you know what I mean. <laughs> Looking at the back side, there's lots of bumps and ridges going from their head down to their tail. These are called osteoderms, it means bone skin in Latin, acts like armor planes to protect these alligators. But it also acts like little solar panels. These animals are cold blooded, they need to rely on the sun and the environment to heat up their bodies. Now look right beyond the eyes, you'll notice that they have little flaps on either side. 
Can any of you guys guess what these little flaps might be? Ears. Ears, yes. Now they can seal their ears off. They can seal off their nostrils. They do spend a good amount of time in the water, but they cannot breathe underwater. Amazingly, though, alligators can hold their breath for up to six hours at one time. Pretty impressive if you ask me. just burped. <laughs> All right, everyone. Now, I have one other trick to show you, but before I do that, I'm going to tell you just a little bit more about myself so you all don't think I'm just some crazy girl sitting on the back of a wild alligator. That's really me as it looks all day. <laughs> my name is Christine, and I moved down here from Buffalo, New York, three years ago. I've been working at reptiles for the past 14 years of my life. Now, my previous job, I worked with over 500 different types of venomous snakes, cobras, rattlesnakes, and vipers. I tricked working here at Holiday Park because I am just a volunteer. That's due to liability. So yes, believe it or not, I don't get paid to do any of these shows throughout the day. But I do love working with these amazing animals, and I love educating people about them. So what this all really means is if one of these guys decide to rip off my arm, well, all the park has to do is send me a get well card. Maybe a couple flowers, but that's about it. And unfortunately for me, She's that is not a part of my bad jokes. It's actually how all this works. So if you guys enjoyed the show, and you guys appreciate what we do here, saving the alligators, what we do here as a rescue, then I really do appreciate anything that goes to the tip job located at the end of the fence. Now guys, for the last trick, this is what we call the face off, for obvious reasons. If I mess it up, my face could come off. <laughs> Sounds fun, right? Yeah, probably not what your average person wants to do on their Wednesday afternoon, but hey, that's what I'm here for, right? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can pull this off, guys. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. The whole show, this alligator was very calm, relaxed, and now she's starting to wake up. Coincidence? I think not. This is the most dangerous part of the show where I'm going to be putting my chin on the alligator's teeth to hold the jaws open for a good picture for you guys, right? Yeah. All for your entertainment. Yes. Yeah. so it's uh, kind of funny that this alligator was very calm throughout the show, but now, like I said, at the dangerous part is when she decided to become alive. Now. Let's just hope that she is not trying to save up her energy for this part because otherwise y'all are going to get a lot more than what you're bargaining for. Oh, no. Alrighty. Calm down. Stick with the script. Okay. There we go. Back in business. Ta-da! Take your pictures quickly, please. <laughs> that is enough of that. All right, guys. Now, as you can see, as soon as I let her go, she's not worried about anything. She's not mad at me. She's not stressed out. She's not irritated. If she was, she would either A, run into that water as fast as she could to get away from me, or B, grab me in the leg and then run into the water as fast as she could. But as you saw throughout that show, I didn't stress her out. I didn't hurt her, and I didn't kill her or put her life in danger. And thankfully, she decided to pay me the same reason which I am very grateful for. So what I'm trying to say, guys, is that the alligators, they're not mean or evil, nasty creatures. They're not out to get you or hunt you down or anything like that. They really just want to be left alone. Give them that respect. If you see one out in the wild, just view it from afar. Don't go near it, don't touch it, and don't feed it. And as long as you follow those simple guidelines, I promise you, you won't have any issues with any wild alligators. All right, everyone. Did you guys have a good time today? Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. So what we're going to be doing now is taking out our baby alligator along with some of our other baby animals for you guys to check out. You can touch them, pat and see what they feel like. Get also home for a photo, which we will then print out for you guys to take home. Sit. Stay. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, if you want to go and check out those baby alligators, you can do so. If you have any questions for me in the meantime, I will be strategically pleasure about that big picture. Thank you, guys. Please exit this.